Hello my fellow mathematicians and welcome to another inequality video. In this video, we'll be wrapping up finally Hodder's inequality. In the previous two videos, we learned about Hodder's statement, the Tito version, and we solved some advanced problems. And in this video, we'll be just discussing two final examples to kind of uh, master Hodder's inequality. So I remind you guys to join the Discord server. We already do many Olympiad activities. So I hope you guys are excited. What are we waiting for? Let's get started. Our first example for today is the following question. So we're given here. A, B, C are side lengths of a triangle and we need to prove that sigma 1 over 8 A, B, C plus a plus B minus C all cube is less than 1 over 3 A B C by the way this question is from a very nice inequality book for Samin Riasat try to search for it it's a uh, very nice book about inequalities. Right now, we're given three side lengths of a triangle and we need to prove this inequality. Again, as you can see, the first note you should see is that we have fractions here. But the problem is we have it's on the lower side of the inequality. Usually, we have these on the greater hand side of the inequality. So we do something like whole, uh, Tito or something or even like uh, just Gucci or Holder. We need it to be on the greater side, not on the lower side. So this is kind of a warning for us. Well, what we can do here is look here and look here. Here we have an ABC. So one idea is just to bring it there. If you bring it there, then you just need to show that sigma ABC over 8 ABC plus 8 plus B and minus C cubed is less than 1 over 3. Now, if you look at this, and remember my advice that I told you before, when you see something in the numerator and denominator that they are kind of the same, then try to partition the fraction. This is a rule of thumb. In order to partition the fraction, first of all, you should make these the same. So it's very easy. Let's multiply by 8. And now it's really easy. We just add a plus b minus c cubed and subtract it. So now we have 3 here, and here 8 over 3, if we move it to the other side, this thing is just going to be 1 over 3 is less than something, so let's just flip it. It's 1 over 3, and here now we have a plus b minus c cube divided by 8abc plus a plus b minus c all all right, now this thing is a nice thing. We have denominators, we want to clear them, but we have them on the greater hand side of the inequality. Perfect place for a uh, holder or Tito. What can we exactly do? For sure we can think about here uh, Tito because we have the perfect shape for it, like something like this, uh, a cube divided by x. So we can play on this and uh, like make it just one sum. So we're just going to apply the Tito version here the LHS is greater than the sum of a plus b minus c, all cube, divided by, okay, 8 uh, abc, 3 times, so 24 abc plus sigma a plus b minus c, each one of them cube. And uh, this thing, what we want, what we have, we want, of course, to show that this thing is greater than 1 over 3. Of course, I made a mistake here. Should not forget the 3. Don't forget the 3. Very important. 
Okay, first of all, what is this thing here? The numerator is really a nice thing because if you add these, you will see that everything will cancel. Uh, you will have B will cancel the B and then you will have another B. So it's going to be this thing is actually equal to just sigma A Q, which is really nice. Here, 3, 24 A, B, C plus this thing is ugly because it needs to be expanded. Q. Okay, our goal is to show this thing is greater than three, a uh, third. So of course this will handle this third. So now it's enough to show that uh, this is greater than this. So we just need to show that sum of a all cube is greater than or equal to. 24 ABC, which is very weak, so good. But problem is this A plus B minus C cube. All right, now this thing is really kind of simple, but our problem is how to handle this thing. By the way, remember the question they told us ABC are side lengths of a triangle. And what does that mean? That means that we know that, you know, the triangle inequality. Any side is less than the sum of the other two sides. So A is less than B plus C, B is less than A plus C, and C is less than A plus B. So all of these guys are positive. And of course, for this re uh, reason, we were able to apply Holder or uh, Tito. Because uh, each one of these guys is positive. And the same thing for denominators, they are all positive. This thing is positive as well. Okay, but how exactly can we handle this? Of course, you can try just to expand and do the question. But here, actually, we have a very uh, like simple and a very nice idea to keep in mind. Look here. Here is our problem. A plus B minus C to expand it. It's really ugly. So there is a very, very common idea to set these as your variables. Y is B plus C minus A and Z and C plus a minus b. Now this thing is just sigma x cube. So now this thing is sigma x cube plus here if you add all of them you will see that they will cancel. So actually sigma a is equal to sigma x. So now here we just have sigma x. Okay very nice hack. But now we have 24 abc. So we need to work with a. How do we find a? Well look at here x and z if you add them. B will cancel, C will cancel, you will have just 2A. So actually 2A is X plus C, but here we have 24, so we have 8, 3 times 8, so 2A, 2B, 2C. Uh, that means just X plus C and uh, like all of them. So that means this thing is 3 pi X plus Y. And now this thing is really easy to do. Let's in fact do it. The LHS, okay, this now should be very standard for you. Uh, 3 symmetric x squared y, 6xyz is greater than, this thing is also standard thing, I told you about, uh, about it before to memorize it, 3 sigma symmetric, x squared y plus 2 xyz, so 6xyz, plus 6 uh, sigma x cube, and here's, what, like what is our price, this thing is here, this thing is the same, this thing is the same, so guess what, these guys are equal, so in fact this is an identity, we do have that this thing is equal to this. So this is really a nice identity. Keep it in mind. Whenever you have like sigma a plus b minus c all cube, keep it in mind that this just sigma a all cube minus 24 abc. So that means this thing is exactly equal to one actual. Or sorry, here it's one over three. We just uh, finished the question, of course. All right, so that was uh, the first idea. Here, uh, the whole idea was just to partition the fraction. Never forget this trick. Whenever you have something in common, try to partition the fraction, especially when it's on the lower hand side. You want to make it on the greater hand side, so always try to do this side uh, idea. All right, so that, that was our first example. For our next example is, now this one is a really recent one. Yes, a TST. Compared, of course, with the other problems, this one is 
from 2010. This question we're given that uh, ABC equals one, and we need to prove that sigma one over a to the five times b plus two c square is greater than or equal to a third. All right. As you can see here, we have fractions and it's on the greater hand side, so this is good. So we should for sure should think about either Cauchy or uh, Holder. Of course, you have ABC equals one, so you should keep that in your mind. And your problem here is that you have A to the five, so you have two large uh, denominator. Usually this is bad, you want to have not two large denominators. So what can we do here? Well, one idea you can think about, we have very large denominators, so perhaps we can just, you know, build tons of ABC in the numerator. So for example, like if I just replace this with ABC to the 5, then I will get rid of it. But the problem is I will have then B to the 5, C to the 5. So now you have a very, like, large numerator, which is also not that cool. Of course, you can maybe use other, like maybe you can use some of them, not all of them. Like uh, maybe you, you can put just a single ABC, so it's just BC over A to the 4. Maybe another ABC, so now it's like this. You can try like multiple of uh, ideas here. All of them uh, are kind of suitable, and you, you, then you can just try to pick the best one. This, this is just one thing you should always think about. Okay. But uh, the problem is, whatever you do here, you still kind of have either a big, you know, numerator or denominator. It's not really that cool, especially that you still have b plus 2c all square. Okay, let's, let's try to think about this one. Let's not just think about the abc equals 1 and be, you know, scared of the a to the 5. Let's just catch this thing here, bring it here, all of it, and try to imagine that we're applying colder because this is our, like, main difficulty we need to get rid of. So let's try just to bring b plus 2c. This thing will handle one of them. We need to have another one. b plus 2c. Now, okay, this one, we got rid of it. But we have now a to the 5. This thing is going to be under the cubic root. So this is pretty bad. So we can just have an a here. Now it's going to be a to the 4. So another a there. Now it's going to be a cube. All right, now this thing is nice. This thing is just sigma 1 over a uh, cube. We take it cubic root, so it's just like this. Okay, now this thing is really nice. Of course, now you can uh, remember that 1 is abc. So now this thing is actually sigma ab cube. Okay, now this thing looks really interesting. interesting because now we replace this with sigma ab all cube. And don't forget that you can expand these guys here. In fact, this thing is AB plus 2AC, so it's 3 sigma AB, 3 sigma AB. They will cancel with this. You will just have that your LHS is greater than or equal to sigma AB over 3. Uh, wait, I think we made a mistake. Uh, yeah, here we have 9 actually, so it's 9. Alright, so our LHS is greater than... Uh, that we need to show this thing is greater than uh, one third, but guess what? We know that ABC equals one. So by applying just simple AMGM, we know that uh, this thing is three over nine, which is equal to a third. And guess what? That means we're done. Of course, here we apply the MGM, and here we apply it order. And that's it, my friends. So. We don't really need to worry about immediately putting ABCs there. No need. Um, we just here need to clear the denominator. And we have, you know, this condition. We just tried to apply holder. And then the condition immediately helped us here. And, you know, just like the simple AMGM. You shouldn't always, like, worry too much about it uh, from the beginning. So that's it. So as a summary, today we solved two examples. Uh, the first idea was 
we just need to always keep in mind that we should always think about uh, partitioning the fraction partitioning the fraction is very important especially when you have stuff on the lower hand side of the inequality and when you get something that uh, like the numerator is kind of the same as the denominator like here we have abc and we have abc so always give it a try the other idea of course also keep these substitutions in your mind especially when they give you three uh, side lengths of a triangle because x y z are positive The other uh, idea was here, don't just worry about the condition you have here. You want to clear denominators, you have a condition. Don't immediately just try to, you know, like the ABC equals one. First of all, just try to imagine you're applying order and think about it. What, what do you really want to, to have? This idea, by the way, should be uh, right now standard for you. You always, how do you clear denominators? You just bring some, some of these guys here, here, and then you just like want to build them. In the best way you just try to choose for example now i have a to the five i want to make it cube so i should just insert two a's a there and a there and uh, with that you should be able to simplify all right my friends so finally we're done with uh, holders inequality in the next video we're going to start with the new stuff uh, probably we're going to start with uh, like some other techniques that are really like some algebraic techniques that are very important to play with inequalities and even actually other stuff like uh, these ideas include homogenization normalization and transformations don't worry that much uh, all of them like are really going to be not that complicated so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel and join the discord server and see you guys in the next video